Puff, puff. Come on, hurry. Everyone's here. Yep, yep. Sorry, everyone. We just got told that the call went out, so we came running. What's going on? Uh, another time gear stolen. What? Not another one? From where now? Where was this time gear stolen from? Well, it... Uh, what's the problem? Did it happen somewhere you don't really want to talk about? Wait, it wasn't the one from... Yes, yes it was. This time, the time you were starting for Fong Bad Lake was stolen. Huh! But, but, but how? The time gear that was at Fogbound Lake, only we knew about that, right? So how could this happen? It couldn't be that a member of the guild talked, could it? What? That was uncalled for. Hey, 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 don't you judge your own members? Er, sorry, that was uncalled for. You're right. No one would break our vow of secrecy. It just never happened. I should have thought before I spoke. I'm sorry. Well, it's no wonder that you leap to that conclusion. I mean, this horrible thing did happened right after our expedition. Just one moment. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. There was a time gear at Fog Runley. I did not know that. Did I not hear quite a different tale about your recent expedition? I recall being told that expedition to Fog Runley ended a failure. I uh, apologize, Great Dustnor. We made a promise, so we couldn't even tell you, Dustnor. Anyway, the literature is up in Fog Runley. Knocked out Yuxi and made off with the time gear. Y Yuxi. Is Yuxi alright? Yes, Yuxi is fine. He's under the protection of the magazine squad. No need to worry. Ooh, I'm gonna hear that. Well, wait, there's more. According to UC's victim statement, the intruder identifier has been revealed. Then, fess up! What kind of critter are we dealing with? There's already a wanted poison up on the thieves. See it for yourselves. This Pokemon goes by the name of Grovile. Oof, that's one nasty piece of work. Grovile. So, this Pokemon, the thief who stole the time gears. This one to have just arrived. It was issued based on Yuxi's statement and arrived as far as all the points bulletin. I figured that's why those Pelper were flying around. Offer Magazine obviously doesn't want to see things worse since they put Rob the Hot Bunny on the theme of Grobile. We promised Yuxi. We promised not to reveal the secret of Fog Bentley. But then this happens. We didn't leave the secret, but I'm ashamed to fill my false for Yuxi now. Hey, what? Here's what sticks in my claw. The view has been ruined. And hey, hey, I just cannot forgive that. Er, hey, Guildmaster. Good er, er, Guildmaster. Er, you talk. What? Squawk, squawk. Everyone, we'll catch Gravel. We'll catch that thief, and I vow it upon the name of Wigglytuff's Guild. Try it if you will. Y yes. Okay, everyone. From here on out, we are putting our full focus on capturing Gravel. Do your best and bring Gravel to justice. It goes without saying. Hey, hey, there's no way we can let any more time gears get stolen. Come on, everyone. Let's pull together. Let's do it for you, see. Wiggly tough. I believe I understand the situation now. I will join your girl's pursuit of Gravel. The thank you, great Dustnor. Golly, having a great Dustnor in our court is mighty heartening. Hey, we're honored. No, no, it's my honor entirely. At present, the Guildmaster and I shall confer. We will design a strategy for finding Grove by the midtime. You shall start preparing on your searches. Return here when you're ready. Okay, everyone. Let's outdo ourselves. Hooray! Let's try and get ready, Scarlet. Let's start preparing with the treasure stone. Alrighty, here, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeons Explore the Sky. Last time, we went to Amp's Plane, and we fought the Manetric crew. Um, we talked to Dustor a little bit. Dustor kind of pitched in a little bit um, as we went to Amp's Plains, and we saved the water float for the Zero Brothers. Um, so now we are taking a look and seeing what all we can get real quick um, that would be beneficial for us. Because we are about to have to start hunting for Grovile. So that's going to be something new here. So we want to make sh Oh, crap. Uh, 
click on you don't need to be so mad about it let me see what i can sell real quick just to get nuts enough for it because i do want that let's see here that might be enough maybe Bye. Let's see. Cool. Is there anything? No. Okay. Let's see if I can get one more thing here. What? There we go. Bye. There we go. Alrighty, there we go. We're gonna store things that we don't particularly need right now. This current time frame. There we go. Store. All right, I'm gonna start finally equipping things on um, me and Riley here. We did buy the power band, and that's going to go on Riley. Um, but I do want to see if there's anything I want to get on Scarlet, particularly right now. But I don't think so. No. We can get this equipped, though. Actually, you know what? Let's get the special one equipped. One's a Scarlet, because I'm not going to keep Faint Attack forever anyways. Just kind of there right now. So let's see. Where did it go? There we go. Nope. Perfect. All right. There we go. Alright, let's head back now and see what's gonna go on. May I see everyone's with us? First and foremost, this should go without saying. Right appears whenever time gears are located. But where the time gears is a question, but we have no answer. And therefore, we have relied on upon the great Dustin for ideas. Because I've identified several locations where the time gears may be found. Yes, everyone has plenty of groups and let's see each one of these potential sites. First, Loudon Corn Forest. I'm assigning you Eastern Forest. That's a huge forest far to the east, of course. Got it. Hey, hey we'll do our best. Next, we do the trio and some flurry. I'd like to search you. Crystal Cave. Yep, yep, we'll do. Understood. Oh my gosh, I'll search hard. And finally, Scarlet and Riley, you'll two are assigned to the North Desert Desert. The Northern Desert? Correct. Open your wonder map. Okay. See this area. The area on the map is obscured by clouds, but the dry terrain is just in this area. That's why it's where the vast desert extends from a part armor. We expect that a time garrison in the depths of this desert. That's where you this is where we're sending you to investigate. Okay, we understand. Uh, what about me? The guild will remain at the guild. We can't very leave guild completely unattended. Cora and I are staying behind too. The work we do at the guild is important too. Let's make sure we keep up the good work. Y yes. Now, let's go find the time gears, everyone. Yum-ta. Alrighty, here we go. Off we all go in searching of the time gears. The Nora Desert. Is not only wide and deep, it's ringed by vicious sandstorms. Please do take care. We'll do it. Thank you. Scott, let's do our best. Alright. We are going to pull one teamer out, number out. 
Just a little uh, extra, you know. So we're gonna add L to our little membership here. And if we need to send L home, we will. But let's go ahead and get this rolling, shall we? To Northern Desert we go. The Northern Desert is through here. If the Time Gear really is here, Grove has show up for sure. Let's do our best to find that Time Gear. Uh, wonderful. Northern Desert. Alright, Northern Desert is going to be 15 floors long. Um, and L's already gone. Okay, well, we tried, we tried, and it did not succeed, but that, that's fine. It's okay. We try new things here every day, so, um, um, you know, we, we try new things every day, right, Riley? You're, you're gonna protect me like the good, the good Riley you are, please? Okay, cool. I like that. Anyways, Northern Desert, 15 floors. We're gonna be seeing some stand storms here, there. That is gonna be knocking HP off of us. Um, but that is its job. Um, anyways, aside from that, we are going to be seeing a various amount of Pokemons. And these Pokemon are going to be Beltoy, Keybone, Aeron, Cacnea, Levitard, Sanchu, Turnpinch, Carnivine, um, Rhyhorn, Laron, and Cacturn. So we will see be seeing these Pokemon here today. Um, we will be seeing some grimy food, and basically what grimy food does is it fills your belly up, but you do get a side effect from it. Um, so if we see any, we'll kind of play around with it, possibly. Um, but other than that, that is what we're going to be looking at with Northern Desert. Um, I think what we're going to be trying to do, too, is level up just a tad bit more. Um... Just because it's going to start getting, impor getting important here down the line to do so. Um, because I don't want these Pokemon to start, like, affecting us that much with their hits. Like, you know, this freaking Aeron is literally next to pummeling us, basically. And I'm going to run away because I don't want to die on the fifth floor. Um, but anyways, yeah. That basically is what I'm saying here. And I'm just gonna, yeah, I was just like, I'm gonna let Riley take care of this real quick for us here. There we go, Riley leveled up, so that's nice too. Um, and we did equip those bands, so that should be a little bit beneficial for us as well. But I'm trying to grow our HP a little bit higher, because that would be very nice. Um, but here we go, we're experiencing the sandstorms already. Um, sandstorms can be a little bit tricky. They're not my... Weather effects aren't my least favorite things to deal with. I just don't like dealing with, like, poison, for example, or hunger, because those, those do suck a lot. I feel like a lot more. I feel like they're a lot more unmanageable compared to sandstorms. Um where this is a little bit more manageable because technically when you're looking at it it's only affecting us by three damage um whereas compared to hunger and poison it it deteriorates you a lot more quicker i feel like although yes it's harder to fully heal without you know taking an orange berry or something but at least it doesn't hit as hard i feel like in the forefront now, if we could stop missing, that would be great, too, because Scarlet's just missing all around lately, right now, in this dungeon. So, that's not making things too greatly easy. Alright, there we go. Okay, I don't want to deal with Keybone. Uh, come on. No, this is it. Okay, come on. Just knock it out, please. Okay, great. I think I need to get rid of Reversal and teach Riley a different move because Reversal has been failing more than actually even helping and I don't really appreciate it to be honest with you. 
And I'm gonna need moves that are gonna fail us here very shortly, especially. So it's gonna be quite important that we get some moves that we are that are reliable, very reliable. Alright, Cacnea, you're down. Come here, Lovatar. Just slowly come closer. There we go. Ah, uh, see, there we go. Grimy food. There we go. There we go. Like I said, I'm trying to get some more experience down to level up a little bit. Get some more HP in the tank. Um, but yeah. There we go. I probably will be doing a couple missions off screen here shortly. Um, just to get some of that down. Um, just so it's not going to be as a struggle later down the line with some of these longer dungeons that we're going to be getting to. Because um, some dungeons are going to be about 20 or so floors and above. So I just want to get ourselves prepared for those and so that way it's not the worst experience in the world even though I'm not looking forward to it quite much to be honest. And it's moves like Poison Sting and Fury Swipes that I don't like that keep going back to back to back to back. Because those get annoying really quick and I hate those more than the weather effects. Because they don't stop. And it's a lot more than 3 damage. So... I also hate it because it makes you stop like every few steps too. So it makes the whole animation feel chunky. Okay. Probably gonna end up batting that cack turn. Yeah. It's like, bro, come on, come on, don't be scared, come here. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, great. Bro, we keep missing. I don't like this. Now, this is getting problematic. Oh, crap. Did not mean to do that. See if Sandshrew can take care of this. Cause it's already hit me with a bunch of accuracy issues. So I don't know. There we go. Let's say I don't know how helpful I'm really gonna be. Alright, back with the sandstorm. This only me and Riley get affected. Sanchu's chilling. Sanchu's just chilling over here. We got four more floors to go through. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, see, moves like that are the moves that I don't like. Part 2. They, they are not a fan favorite. They are not a fan favorite. Good for you, Sandshrew. There we go. Getting hungry. As these floors get long, these dungeons get longer, we're going to be experiencing that a whole lot more. And I'm going to try to showcase that grime, grimy food um, in just a moment.
Okay. There we go. Did not want to. I want to make sure I was facing you before I did anything. Okay. I don't like you, bro, for hitting me. Stop hitting me. Do you see how many times I would hit you with that? It's way too many times. It's more than I like. Yeah, I need to replace reversal so badly. It just does not work. We have, we're going to end up collecting a lot of treasure boxes here, it feels like. So we are going to have to go to the, the appraisal at some point. Get all those opened up, see what's all in there. We also need money to do that, but that's fine. Not that concerned. Just want to open those suckers up and see what's in them, honestly. But we're going to be finishing this up real quick. There we go. Alright. Oh no. Okay. I'm going to show you this real quick. Every single step you take, you are rapidly just losing your health. It is very quickly to do so. Garden food. Now, because Scarlet is a fire type. Now, Scarlet's belly was somewhat filled. But, Scarlet is not affected by burns. So, Scarlet is safe. Oh, finally, reversal worked. What a miracle. But anyway, so now you've seen what grimy food does. I almost forgot to show you guys that too, which would have been bad, but it's fine. Some more grimy food. So I to say, I feel like that's a dead end, and it was. Alright, there we go. We're about to be done here. Getting hungry again, we get it. Bro, free swipes is- you- you're missing at that very hor horribly. Bro. I'm really liking Flamethrower as a move on Scarlet. It's been pretty ben beneficial. Is this the deepest part of the desert? Watch out, it's quicksand. The sand's getting stuck down here and there. Like there's sand whirlpools and we'll be floating if we get close. It's dangerous out here. I don't see anything around here that remotely looks like a time gear. Maybe there's nothing here. Oh. What's the matter, Scarlet? This feeling. It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I, I know this place. Maybe I've only heard of this place. But it seems like I've been here before. I can't tell which. Either way, I do know this place. Listen, Scarlet. What's the matter? You were off in your own thoughts there. Well, it seems... Well, it seems there be nothing here. How disappointing. Let's put our findings together and let's go home. What? So everyone's back from their searches, but nobody's found anything. Disappointing. That's what happened, alright. Hey, hey, we weren't days to friends like we were told, but hey. There's nothing really there but for us. And as for Crystal Cave, yup, yup, it was chock full of crystals. Mighty pretty cave, I tell you. It was so pretty that I couldn't help helping myself to a crystal. 
Ooh, when did you pick that up? I was with you the whole time. I never noticed. Do. Our job was fun time gear. Welfare to our objectives, but you had the nerve to collect us when you're totally unrelated to the mission. What do you think you are? Oof, gosh, I'm sorry. I just want a tiny treasure for myself. That's all. Just nor, sir, I regret to say it. Our search efforts have ended fruitlessly. Ah, uh, this is vexing. I thought the search locations we chose held promise. I blame my lack of knowledge. I'm truly chastened. My goodness, no, you mustn't blame yourself. Why, it was only thanks to you and last knowledge that we came up to this plan of Desnor. Nevertheless, our efforts have ended in flares, that's a fact. But being hard on ourselves is pointless. Let's restart our plan. We'll devise a different strategy tomorrow. Yes, let's do that. And may we find success together. That's how it stands, everyone. That's enough work for today. Rest up, prepare for tomorrow. Understood. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Scarlet. Okay, good night. Alrighty, let's see what's up for today then. Um, that brings us back to today. Presently, the Great Dustin and I are working on a new strategy. While we develop this strategy, we ask you to search for the time because I don't know an issue. That's all. All right, everyone, work hard again today. Hooray! We're supposed to search on our own today, Scarlet. Where should we go? Hmm, I wonder. We can search all we want, but we don't have a clue. Oh, wait a second. Yesterday when we were out there, this feeling. It's like the one I got off Falbound Lake. I, I know this place. Yes, that's right. Yesterday at the quicksand pits, we assumed that was dead end for our search, but maybe there really are secrets there. What's the matter? Are you off in another daydream? Alright, let's tell Riley our crazy scheme. What, you want to go back to quicksand desert? We were there yesterday. We didn't find anything. What? When we were at quicksand desert, you experienced the same situation you had at Falbound Lake? Well, then, that's all, Scarlet. What you must say must be true. Let's go back out there again, back to Quicksand Desert. Alrighty. Apparently, we're going back to Quicksand Desert. But what I will be saying here is we are actually going to take our chests that we have and we're going to pop up in as many as we can. And then after that, we're going to be ending this ep episode for the day. And then we are going to go ahead and pick off back at where we started today basically so let's get this going basically and we're gonna grab a couple apples while we're at it so all right let's see what all we have here we go here we go all right looks like that's it all right Let's go ahead to Zatu and see what we get. This is Zatu's appraisal. My services cost 150. What is your, what do you wish? All right, we gotta get a bun bunch of them. So let's take a look and see how many we can get done. And so it is revealed within the box is this Bayleaf card. All right, let's keep going. And so, it is revealed within this box is this lucky leaf. Alright, let's keep going. And so, it is revealed within the box is this heel seed. And so, it is revealed within this box is this cherub seed. And so it is revealed within this box is this vowel seed. Three more to go. And so it is revealed within this box is an inferno hair. I bet that was for Infernape, I'm almost sure. Oh, we're out of money. Alright, well, we tried. We got a good bunch out. So I guess that's what truly matters here. Um, but oh well. I guess that's going to be all for now. Let's see. All 
Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to be it for us today. Um, I'm probably going to go on some adventures. Just take on some things on the bulletin board. Get some more experience. Get some more HP in our bank. But other than that, I will see you guys next time. See ya.